going to have? My boudoir will be done in rose-colored satin. Or, or maybe coral with silver trim. And the doors of my wardrobe will be of glass, so, so that while I'm having my breakfast in bed, I can decide which one of my beautiful gowns I'll wear that evening. My maid will have to be French. I'll bring her from Paris when I get my gowns. That way I can be sure of looking so radiantly beautiful that my husband can't help being as proud of me as I am of him. My husband will be tall and strong and slim, with flashing eyes and wavy black hair. The surprises. Uh, what, what he means is uh, to a life full of happy surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Smart Alex broke in here to play another trick. <laughs> That's her bow. And who's the little girl? That's his girl. They aren't either. She's a princess and he's a fairy prince. And the princess's name's Cinderella and... You aren't very smart, are you, Daddy? <laughs> How does it look, dear? Fine. Fine, Daddy. And the bag? Hmm? The bag? You haven't even looked at it. Why should I? No one else will either. At a dance, Bob? Of course they will. How does it hang? And the waistlines are too high, too low. What do you think about the neck? Oh, it looks swell. Looks swell to me. You'll be the belle of the ball. Tell me what it's all about. Come on. Oh, I can't go, Baba. I just can't. You mean the party? I'd be too ashamed. Oh, I think it's a swell dress. As nice as any of the latest styles. Well, I guess the style's all right, but 
But the material, it's so, so thin, dull, lifeless. And Claire will be there, and Iris. They'll both look so smart, modern. So 1920. I'll tell you what. You go right downtown tomorrow and buy one of those imported Paris numbers. That'll be nicer than anything Iris or Claire had. That's sweet of you, Bob, but you know we can't afford it. I suppose not. But who cares? I won't have you unhappy. Not really. I, I wouldn't trade places with anyone. But it does seem a shame that folks in our circumstances can't have... Well, can't have something like this. Fabrics of the future. Lasting and beautiful, but so inexpensive that practically anyone can afford them. Tomorrow always comes. Oh, if it would. I'd have a different dress for every day in the year. Or well, be wearing trousers. And you wouldn't need any dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they ever will have such beautiful things. Well, it says tomorrow always comes. Let's hope so. Hey, but no. Maybe if you wish for them, Mommy, hard luck, Cinderella, then maybe... Maybe when you're a big girl, you'll have lots of them. All right, we'll wish. Right now, it's time for you to go to bed. No, no, I don't want to. Yes, you do want to. Will you tell me a story? Will you? Oh, I Will suppose you? so. Away we go. Come on, hurry up. What do you want me to tell you? But Daddy said he was a... Well, he can be a fun a fairy prince, too. How, Mommy? Tell me about it, will you? Right, get in huh? bed. Scooty, you? hurry up. Come here. Close your eyes. Both of them. Real tight now. There, that's better. Once upon a time, there was a little girl, just like you. Her name was Molly. Was it you, Mommy? Well, let's imagine she was like me. She was always dreaming about someday when she would be all grown up and meet her fairy prince. Oh, he would be so handsome and rich, and they would run away in his beautiful big carriage, drawn by 20 white horses with silver bridles. And she would be all dressed up. The lovely gown was so long it took a hundred elves to carry the train. A hundred elves? Well, a lot, anyway. But instead, she met a different kind of prince. He was big and strong. Not too handsome, but awful nice. He wasn't rich, though, so she couldn't have the big carriage with all the horses and the silver bridles. She didn't mind, though, for after a while, they had a lovely little princess, which Molly thought was better than all the riches in the world. But now she couldn't have the silks or the satins either. Then one day, a wonderful magician came and waved his wand over a lot of secret mixtures. It soon turned into a piece of cloth, more beautiful than anyone in all the land ever seen. They made it into the lovely gown poor princess always dreamed 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 of lovely things just out of reach into the future future I am the spirit of the future I'm not supposed to Molly but I'm going to give you a glimpse of a day more wonderful than even you ever dreamed of. But there's one condition. You must never, never tell that you're from 1920. If you do, the spell will be broken. Can you keep the secret? All right, Molly, it's a bargain. Off we go to see all kinds of marvelous new fabrics for all kinds of uses. Beautiful things that everyone will have someday because no matter what any mere mortal says, Tomorrow always comes. It's all right, Molly. Don't be so shy. I'm trying not to be.
That's the latest pageant. I, I just can't. I don't blame you, but just feel that dress. That's right. See how the back looks. Doesn't it feel wonderful? Here comes somebody. Remember your promise. Would you like to see something in particular? Well, I don't exactly know. Just speak up, Molly. Tell her what you'd like to see first. I... I'd like to see some lingerie, of course. Let me show you some of our lovely things. My, isn't everything beautiful? And the material, it, it's so soft and smooth. Yes, we have a wonderful assortment. So luxurious, so modern, so 90... Ah, uh -uh, Molly, be careful. <laughs> well, what's this um, um, thingamabob that somebody's sewn into the seam? Why, that's the Burmill label. Well, I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, it's really an assurance of quality. It's the very best guide you can have for buying rayons. Oh, I see. Oh, ladies' pajamas. Well, these pajamas are made of Burmill, too. Yes, you'll find Burmill rayon fabrics in a great variety of garments. And whenever you see that mark, you can be sure of quality. Well, isn't that helpful? I used to ask... I mean, I, I always ask people in stores, will it wash, will it fade, and how well will it wear? <laughs> and can they tell you? Well, they told me all right. <laughs> but I suppose in that day that... Careful, Molly. I mean, I, I have so much to see each time I was running along. <laughs> Are you a stranger here? Oh, yes, very, very strange. Well, I mean, I, I think I'll drop over and see some blouses. <laughs> of course, you'll find them right over there in our town and country section. Thank you very much. That is smart, isn't it? Yes, it is. And colors like that, used together. Never seen anything like it. Yes, it's quite the rage. We have many similar fashion ideas and a marvelous selection of colors. May I show you some? Oh, thank you, I'd love to, but some other time. I was really looking for some blouses. Of course. You'll find them just down a few sections. Oh, thank you. Men suits of Burmill. Mmm, good looking too. Must tell Bob. Never seen so many beautiful things. Yes, they are lovely, aren't they? Haven't we met before? It's quite possible. I've been here for some time. Here's what I was looking for. Oh, you'll find it in most of our finer blouses. The Burmill label means so much to the shopper that better manufacturers are naturally eager to use it. But this seems strange. What do you mean? Well, one of these blouses is $4, and the other one, which looks like the same material, is 10 It is the same material. But how? Well, it's really very simple. You see, this $4 blouse made of Burmill crepe does contain the same fabric as this $10 one. The difference in cost is due not to any difference in the quality of the crepe, but to more expensive trimmings, more expensive workmanship. You know, all the little things that run up cost. Of course, you'll find many different weaves in Burmill fabrics. But no matter what the weave, the quality of any particular fabric is always the same, regardless of the price of the garment in which it's used. Mm, Burmill seems to be used in about everything. Do the stores like to show so many garments from one concern? Oh, but they aren't from only one concern. There are literally hundreds of manufacturers who use Burmill fabrics in their products. And Burmill fabrics themselves are sold by many different converters. The fact that Burmill fabrics and garments may be obtained from so many different sources is in itself a reason for the retailer's willingness to promote the Burmill trademark. 
Then a lot of different people might make a lot of different style blouses, but they would all be, be made... made of Burmil fabrics of one kind or another, and they would all carry this label. <laughs> you must think I'm terribly inquisitive, but I don't see how they make the label mean so much. Well, we have a little booklet over here that tells the whole story of how the Burmil quality control plan works. It was started because Burlington Mills realized that no one can judge a fabric just by looking at it. Mm, yes, that's certainly true. Sometimes the best looking things don't wear at all. So this little book that explains how standardized weaving produces finer and stronger fabrics and how controlled finishing gives better colors and a lovelier touch. Mm, such lovely colors, they're stunning. And for a very good reason. You see, all these fabrics had to be tested many, many times before they were permitted to carry the Burmill label. Tests? What kind? Well, for instance, these colors you were admiring. All colors in Burmill fabrics are tested for fastness to light and to washing, as well as for their resistance to perspiration and certain other stains. And when it comes to shrinkage, Burlington conducts over 500 tests per month on lingerie fabrics alone. <laughs> My goodness, what a job. And that's not all. There are tests for dry cleaning and hot pressing and resiliency and wrinkle resistance and other tests on vital characteristics such as tensile strength, and seam slippage. And in addition to all these fabric tests which are made in the laboratory, Burlington is continually running actual wear tests on hundreds of garments. Ah, that must cost them a lot. How can they afford it and still sell things so reasonably? Well, because of the tremendous yardage output. Of course, the whole Burmill plan of quality assurance would be impractical for a concern of lesser importance. But Burlington Mills are the world's largest manufacturers of rayon fabrics. I dare say the world's finest. Are these uh, Burmill fabrics difficult to launder? Not if you follow these simple directions. You just make a rich, lukewarm suds using a mild soap. Squeeze through the material repeatedly. Do not rub or wring. And rinse thoroughly in warm water. And roll them in a towel and remove the excess moisture. While still damp, press on the wrong side with a warm iron. Garments shape better if they're ironed with the grain or weave of the fabric and not across it. Sounds almost too easy to be possible. Um, will they come out as beautifully as these? Oh, of course. Just like new. Are all Burmill fabrics washable? No, some of them should be dry cleaned. But the proper method of handling is indicated on the tag which accompanies each garment. If we only had these now. Now? But we do. Well, I mean, I... I uh, oh, dear. Molly, be careful. Besides, we've barely time to catch the television show. Television? Did you say television? Oh, yes, I guess so. Oh, of course. We're having a show this afternoon up in the stratosphere room. Oh, thank you. I'd love to go. Well, then you'll have to take the elevator. I'll be happy to show you the way. Molly, you must hurry. Well, I've got to go now, and thanks very much for everything. I... The future's been even more lovely than the past will be. It certainly is. Come again, haven't you? Thank you very much. I mean, uh, now she's got me doing it. Right this way, Mrs. Brown. Thank you. Excuse me, please. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> I've never been to one of these before. You mean a television show? Uh -huh, you know, like not calling on your next door neighbor. Of course. Well, it's just like watching the broadcast of a radio show. Oh, fun. I've heard them. Uh, you see, my Uncle Charlie's boy, John, has a crystal set. <laughs> Oh, I wish my husband could be here. Quiet, everybody. We're going on the air in one minute. Why, Bob, hello. Why, why he doesn't even know me. Should he? Why, of course, he's my husband. Good afternoon, friends of the television audience. This is Bob Brown, your master of ceremonies. Today, it is my great privilege and pleasure to present to you one of the most attractive and popular women in her field, fashion expert, Miss Betty Finesse. Thank you, Mr. Brown. You're quite welcome. 
it's a pleasure to participate in this glamorous occasion brought to thousands of American homes through the magic of that most dramatic of modern wonders, television. And as a special treat today, we're going to take you behind the scenes for an exciting event that would thrill any girl. A fashion show for the bride. Wonderful to be a bride again. The wedding gown you've always dreamed of, isn't it? It's wonderful. But you'll need more glamorous surroundings. Look. Oh, what a man. There you are. Go on. Walk up to the throne, Molly. Like a dream world, isn't it? As feminine and charming as a spray of bridal wreath. Yes, as long as there have been weddings, there have been trousseaus. They are linked together as inevitably as the poets Moon and June. And so, today's shower will be lingerie fit for a bride. It's showering slips. Beautiful creations by new form that any bride would love to own, or any bridesmaid for that matter. Yes, Molly, you'll know the thrill of faultless fit in this exquisite new form slip. Sleek, smooth, mottled lines will make your figure and everything you wear look more glamorous. You see, that's because New Form's patented cut, four gores with alternating bias, gives you really perfect fit. Of course it feels wonderful. The fabric's burmill crepe, as long wearing as it is lovely to look at. No wonder smart shoppers look for this label. These tailored new form slips trimmed with smart faggoting are the undercover start to perfect grooming. If you've ever been guilty of pinning up the hem of your slip, you can throw away the pins forever. New forms are designed in two lengths, regular and short, so you need never complain about a new form slip showing beneath your dress. New forms fit so superbly that even corseteers, those experts in figure flattery, give them their blessings which is no more than you'll do. Remember the princess in your fairy tales? Well, these slips of fine burmill crepe, both luxuriously lace trimmed, would please the haughtiest maiden. And the dainty new form panties are just as well made and of the same fine fabric. And here's something important, Molly. A nylon faggoted seam to make new forms as flawless inside as out. There'll be no unsightly raveling, no loose thread to spoil the picture when you wear new forms. No wonder Molly's happy. This is the kind of trousseau to make any bride feel like a queen. 
new form hasn't forgotten the little figure either. Every measurement is skillfully proportioned to give the small girl a trim, well-groomed look, plus a dash of glamour. I don't think these slips could fit better if they were made to order. No wonder new form slips are popular. And speaking of popularity, stores sometimes find it hard to keep new forms in stock, but they're well worth waiting for. Remember, little new forms are made with the same patented cut and are designed for a size, not an age. Now look sharp, Molly, because here's something new under the spotlight. New Form's famous Can't Ride slip that has been designed with a very special cut. Made in regular and short sizes, New Form Can't Ride slips have a straight cut draped skirt that won't ride or twist and a bias cut gourd top that molds perfectly to your figure. As you know, fabric cut on the bias, like this, is elastic while straight cut fabric hangs perfectly, won't sag or stretch. Thus, in one elegant slip, new form has combined the best features of each cut. Yes, there's no doubt new form slips mean flattering smoothness, perfect fit under your loveliest gowns. Finally, we turn the spotlight on the bride's own choice. Exquisite white crepe, lavishly trimmed with lace. What could be more beautiful or more appropriate under her going away dress for a romantic honeymoon? But where is the groom? Yes, where is the groom? Where's the groom? Where's the groom? Where's the groom? Where's the groom? And so our television show comes to a happy ending. Why must this lovely dream end? If only everything could be like this in 1920. Mother, you've done it. You've broken your promise. So back you go to 1920. Back to reality far from this wonderful day of mine. But condemned forever to remember and dream. Dream of all these lovely things to come. And in dreams, remember. Remember, tomorrow always comes. Molly. Molly. Darling, when are we going on our honeymoon? Honeymoon? We went five years ago. Oh, yes, that's right. Darling, let's go on a second honeymoon. Dreams are getting better all the time. <laughs> I live happily ever 